I, first off, I was proud of the guys, and uh, it, was a, it was a tough game out there. I felt the second period we didn't have very good legs. I thought UMD took it to us, but uh, uh, we were only down by a goal. And uh, you know, Rigo converting the first minute of the third period um, really elevated our play, and uh, it was just a great third period, and we were fortunate enough to get that last bounce in overtime. Uh, it was just a, it was a big win off the draw. Got kicked up to Dan McIntyre. Just made a nice pass across and rather had a nice screen in front. Fortunately, it went in. Or anything like that? I uh, just tried to get it on net as quick as I could. They're pr they're playing pretty soft, so uh, once Dan passed across, I kind of had a feeling I was going to shoot right away or move it over to cleaner, and I decided to shoot and luckily went in. Uh, well, certainly it's uh, quite similar, you know. I if you lose, you're done in that, in our books. Um, we gotta we gotta show up every night, come out every shift, and we can't have any mistakes out there. And you know, uh, having the experience of being in the Frozen Four, and you must win every night to even you know to uh, get a national championship. Uh, same thing in the WCHA here in the uh, Final Five, and we just we got we know that we're the underdogs, and we gotta take it to uh, the opponent every night and just play the best we can. Hopefully, we win. In between the second and the third period, we uh, we talked in the, as a group and just said that we gotta uh, we gotta be a lot more pressure uh, a pressure team out there. And uh, we came out and scoring a uh, goal in the first minute of uh, the third period uh, it certainly put us on our toes and them on their heels. And I thought the rest of the third period we uh, we played very well. We had a lot more opportunities, had a lot more shots on net, and uh, uh, I guess we couldn't we couldn't score on there. And we went in overtime, and uh, I think it's just the momentum of uh, scoring that one. In the, First minute of the third period and carried on to the overtime of the goal. You know, I, I think after they were up on a two one lead, I thought those guys got on their heels a little bit and uh, and uh, you know you know how dangerous they are when there's a minute left in the third period and that line gets out there and we were handing our defense zone for a minute ten seconds or something like that and, uh, and then first first shift in overtime they came out flying again and you know we just uh, we worked on it all week, just making sure you're sticking with your guys and don't give them any uh, open ice to make plays. And I thought our defense would play, our defense would play uh, very well against them. And you know, it took a lot of their time and space away, which you know, you don't have time and space, you can't make plays. We've been on the other side of the end and other side of the overtime losses, and it doesn't feel good. So we were coming into this, we just we wanted to win, and it was a big game, and it was a big time, and it's the perfect time to get that win. And everyone in the uh, dressing room is just astounded right now. It's just awesome. It's we got great morale, great team chemistry going into tomorrow's game, and uh, we're just looking a lot forward to play Denver. It's going to be an exciting game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough game tomorrow, and we expended 67 minutes tonight, and uh, we have to rebound tomorrow at 2.07. So uh, we realize, again, there's a short turnover time, and we're playing one of the best uh, teams in the country. Uh, but again, we just have to, you know, we just have to dig down deep, and uh, we have to find some gas in the tank, and it's going to be exciting for us.